Good evening, Internet. Uh, today is Tuesday, February 26th, and today we're going to try something a little new uh, to this channel. Um, I, uh, since I enjoy uh, playing Minecraft, I thought I would share just a little bit of some of the things that I do uh, with Minecraft. Uh, today I thought I would do a quick tutorial on a uh, type of medieval house that I've been uh, using in some of my uh, some of my builds that I've been doing. So, um, let me, uh, let me, uh, ah, there we go. Okay. So I'm going to build it right over here in this area. And first of all, let's pick our materials. So I am using uh, the Doku Craft Light Texture Pack, by the way. Um, so we're going to need uh, stone bricks. We're going to need uh, white wool. We're going to need oak logs. We are going to need um, stone brick stairs. We will need um, oak stairs, oak slabs. Uh, what else are we going to need? We're going to need um, glass panes. And let me think here. Uh, we'll need a door. And um, this should cover most of everything. We'll grab a couple flower pots here too. All right, so first of all, um, let's, uh, let's put the corner of the house right here. First of all, my foundation is a seven by seven. So we're gonna go one, two, three, uh, what are, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and over. So um, you really don't have to build your foundation, uh, you know, one deep. I like to just in case uh, later on I decide to put a, a cellar in. Um, then that can uh, be easier to show me where exactly the the uh, foundation is. So, um, so let's continue this up one. And, uh, here, okay. So now we're going to build the frame of the building. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. And we're going to build this frame all the way around, um, around the building. Uh, I think it's kind of fun to build things um, as you would if it was real life. You know, like put the structural elements up first and then come back and fill in. Uh, other elements later. I, I just think that's kind of fun to do. But uh, so we'll do a row of wool up here. Now this is a, a design that I've been using for a while, so I've kind of um, got it more or less figured out. Uh, there are some issues with it, and I will show those off as we go. Um, but it, uh, at least from the exterior, it looks really nice. I think it. Uh, has a certain sort of medieval village look to it with, that uh, I like. So, um, oops. Okay, now we're going to put another row of logs. And I'm hoping that I can do this whole tutorial in about 10 minutes. I think I can build this whole building in, in uh, less than 10 minutes, but we'll see. All right, so then we want to go one, two, three, four, five up. One, two, three, four, five, and again, build the structure here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven now, because we did go out one block. And um, I'm going to try and keep uh, keep the motions um, as non-jerky as I can. I know. Um, it really annoys me when I'm watching YouTube videos of, of people playing games and uh, they are busy wiggling the mouse and the view all over everywhere. So I will do my best to avoid that. Um, it's hard to remember what this is going to look like for somebody who is not playing later. Um, but I will do my best. Alright, so we're, we're moving on to the wall here. We're just putting in the, the actual walls. Um, this is kind of a nice design because it is square, um, and uh, there are a few variations that you can make. 
uh, to kind of spice it up a little bit. Um, I uh, prefer this general layout, but you can move the windows around if you want. Of course, those are um, easily changed. Um, you know, colors could also be changed, different type of wood. Um, so let's go over here now. So um, yeah, I've been uh, I've been doing some YouTube videos that have just been kind of uh, me talking about things that are interesting to me, things that I've been thinking about. Um, I thought this would be a nice experiment to try and see um, just see if this gets any response and uh, come back and you know I'll come back and watch it and see if it uh, if it looks okay and. If I'm uh, somewhat interesting, I hope. So there's a, a view. Sorry, there's a view of it so far. And let's get. Uh, we're gonna come and change this front face here um, when we put the door in. So for now, I'm just gonna close it up. Uh, let's go ahead and put the roof on now. Um, my favorite part. No, it really isn't my favorite part at all. Um, I don't know if anybody likes building roofs in Minecraft. If there is somebody, you could probably hire yourself out uh, and make a little bit of money. <laughs> um, I'm really hoping that uh, this video works out. I think it's going to be it's going to be interesting. I have not recorded anything using Fraps before. This is um, it's kind of my first try. It looks like the file size is going to be absolutely humongous. Um, so I'm hoping that I can do a quick convert to, um, I don't know what would be a more compressed version, maybe uh, the WMB um, format. Perhaps I can use um, Windows Video, uh, what is it? Windows Movie Maker uh, to do that, save some file space and delete the originals. Uh, I don't think I'm doing anything that is so important that if I lost it, I would, uh, I would be too broken up. Um, and uh, I do have a large hard drive. I think it's a terabyte hard drive. Um, so I should have a decent amount of space at least for working. Um, but in terms of archiving everything, I don't know that it's really going to be... Um, oops. That it would be enough, and I'm not sure that there would be any value in me uh, archiving things of that sort. So, all right, roof done. Let's take a look here and see what we've got. All right, so far so good. Now I'm going to add a little bit of detail here. Um, all right, I'm going to put the door there and a window there, and do like so. And then I'm not entirely sure about this little detail. I've been I've been adding this detail to my buildings. Um, it certainly adds more visual, uh, you know, more interesting visual element. But um, yeah, I'm I'm not sure. Uh, the upper one I like, but this bottom one, it uh, eh, I don't know. I'm not sure about that. But I'll just do it like I've been doing it, and we'll see. Um, if you guys like it, good. If you don't, well, I guess that's too bad. Take it and do what you will with it. Um, okay, and I'm going to I'm actually put the door on from the inside. All right, and leave that there. Okay, now up here for the detail, I've been doing this, putting some little flower boxes. So we can do that. Um, actually, we're going to skip the back side. I'm going to see why in a second. Um, I'm really not sure what, uh, what time I'm up to recording this. I don't have an overlay or anything to see, and I did not look at the time when I started. Um, the sun is going down in Minecraft though, so let's just reset that and make sure we're not in the dark. Um, we'll go ahead and put the windows in like this. I'm not sure if uh, I should be adding this detail on the second floor or not. Mm, actually, that looks pretty good. We'll do that on 
all the sides and then it just breaks up the, the look of the wool a little bit. Um, <clears throat> you know, adds a, some color variation and um, some variation in the shape as well, uh, which is good. I think, you know, a lot of times um, buildings can look somewhat, uh, somewhat boring if they're too uniform. Um, so anywhere you have big flat spaces or big monocolored, you know, monochromatic type of areas, uh, I think it's good to uh, break those up if you can. All right, so there is the basic shape that we've got going. Um, a couple other things that we can do. Actually, we're going to come in the inside here, and we're going to actually break this down um, because we're going to add a fireplace. And I like this detail. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know if everybody would appreciate it, but um, let's see. Well, I think I might have done too much. Anyway, so what I'm going to do here is, okay, that's where my fire is actually going to sit. Why don't I, uh, yeah, I'm going to get that going later. Um, so I do like this. Um, and this, I think, ends up looking pretty visually interesting. Um, um, you know, this recording this while playing is more difficult than I would... Uh, would have thought. It's just um, hard to talk to yourself uh, just constantly. Um, usually when I play Minecraft, you know, I'm pretty, um, you know, I'm quiet. I'm just sitting, you know, minding my own business in, in my room here and in my home office and uh, not talking to anybody, even myself. Um, so, Pardon me if I'm just getting kind of boring here. This is my first try doing this, so it's uh, it's going to take me a little bit of getting used to. But um, okay, so I will finish off the chimney here. I think that'll do. Uh, there's probably more efficient ways of constructing this design as well. Um, this is just kind of. How I've been going about it, you know, I don't know, maybe starting with the foundation and the chimney might be a better idea um, rather than oops, doing it uh, this way around. But um, <clears throat> this is kind of how my brain thinks about it while I'm doing it anyway. So uh, let's go ahead and do this detail here. We'll put in some glass panes. We'll skip the, the window boxes though, oops, since. Um, since we are uh, on the back side here. <clears throat> okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, we will do one more thing then. I think I'm going to use... Actually, uh, I'm going to use a lighter wood for the floor here. Um, you could use the darker wood. Uh, this house can tend to be a little dark anyway, so maybe the lighter wood will be helpful. Where's the sun? That was still something okay. All right, so for the interior of this thing, um, this is how I've been doing it. Let's see here. I think this turns out pretty cool. It's I found it very difficult to get a um, to get a fireplace with a mantle that looks right. Um, so I think this works fairly well, though, like that, yeah. And then um, we can just bring this all up. And actually, we don't need it to go that far out, do we? Because on the second floor, uh, we are actually, I think, like so. All right, let's grab these. And that's not strictly necessary either, but all right. And then let's put our second floor in. Now, one of the issues that I said I would talk about um, 
I can talk about right here, and that is stairways. Uh, stairways up to the second floor. This has always, <clears throat> always bothered me. Uh, it's very difficult to get, uh, I think, to fit stairways in that look right um, and function well. Uh, so that, that looks pretty good to me. Uh, okay. So I think those are all the basic elements. Um, like I said, stairways kind of screw me up. I'm not really sure um, what to do uh, in terms of making this work. I mean, I could put a ladder in here, you know, but it's a very high ceiling. Um, there's plenty of room up, you know, in this second floor to put, you know, finish off that fireplace and put a couple of beds or something. Um, I will have to think more about that stairway. If anybody else has a good solution, um, please feel free to, uh, to, to do it. And, uh, please let me know though, because I'd love to see it. Um, then of course you can put in uh, a few little details. As Corrales would say, uh, put in the, the bushes, because uh, that'll, that'll uh, spruce things up a little bit. And then if you like, um, this is kind of nice to do also. Maybe put in a, a little, little thing like that. So there we have it. There's a medieval house. And uh, I will leave it at this. We'll try another building next time. And uh, until then, uh, have fun Minecrafting. All right, see you later.